what time did you get these? Hey. Jesus, 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 Jesus,
Except when God really hurt us or don't hurt us or kill us or what have you. He's our maker. He's telling the Lord give us and the Lord take us. And he gives her life and he takes it. And he gives her health and he can take it. I say the devil's got something to do with it. He permits the devil to. Oh, yeah, I like that. Because all good things come from God, but uh, he permits the devil to do things. Were you afraid last night? No. After you were bitten? No. No, I didn't care what happened. I didn't want to hurt baby. but I didn't care about dying or nothing like that. You were afraid of what? No. I lost it a long time. When my time comes to die, that's the way I want to die, anyhow. Mm -hmm. When my time comes, that's the way I want to go. But I don't want it to be, you know, no, I'm no hurry for it. Is this the worst fight you've had? No. Looks pretty bad. He's, he's hurt. He's hurt me. And it's, it's really hurt. He's still hurt. And now I'm yet all over and tingling all over you. And you're a quick tingling. And my eyes are dry. I couldn't talk too good last night. Good. Couldn't get my mouth open. Man. Talk too good. Dewey, how many times have you been bitten now? It'll be 68 times. 68 times? And that's over about 20 years. That ain't too bad. Not too of course, bad. Of course, some people have been for 30 years and don't ever get bit at all. I don't know why. Why do some people get bitten and not others? Well, I don't know about that either. Just uh, like say, well, I wish up and God was about to or not. So when, when you get bit, then, is it the devil's work or God's will? Well, it's God's will, but it's the devil's work. Then we're going to start taking some advice for us. That's right. Well, right. <laughs> Somebody needs to take some of them. Well, you see, my daughter died from a serpent bite. And, um, but now, though, we offered her a doctor, and she refused. I believe we offered her a doctor about three times. And in my heart, where I wouldn't have, in my heart, I really wanted her to ask for a doctor. Where I wouldn't have uh, accepted no uh, aid like that at all, I wanted her to. Really, deep down in me, I, I didn't want to give her up. She was mine, and I loved her very much. And... Uh, just anything to have kept her here. Even though you know God's God, and he's real, and you know what he can do for you. And all power is in his hands, and he gives life, and he takes it. Still, you want to try everything that you can to keep one with you as long as you can, too. Do you mourn for somebody who's been serpent bit and dies? Oh, yes, honey. I, the loss of them is all. Now, today, I, it's just as fresh in my memory of losing my daughter. That's something you, you never get used to. You just have to learn to live with it. But now, my, my daughter or any of my brothers and sisters in the church that uh, die like that, it hurts me. It hurts me a lot. And you know that it has to... Uh, my own child. And I'll, I'll take spells, you know, I, I'll think to you, I can see her coming, or I'll imagine, you know, I see her, and I desire to talk to her. And uh, a lot of times, me, just here myself, I shed a lot of tears about her. But, you know, I know that, uh, I know, too, she's safe. I feel that, she said. It's not that I'm worried about her soul or anything. I feel like it, that she is really, really saved. I feel like she died right in the Lord. But still, that don't keep me from missing her and having her around. I say <laughs> it's God's will like I got bitter. Yeah. I wouldn't have been bit. Do you think God wanted you to suffer? Yeah, he could have yeah. or he could have stopped the suffering. Do you think he meant for you to suffer for a purpose? Yeah, but we're not supposed to question it. I've never questioned uh, God on nobody I've ever had. Do you try to live better after you get it? You better live good for you. You better live good for you get bit.
to me, eternal life is something that's more greater than anything we can have in this life. It's the hope of glory. You know what? There's, there'll be no more sorrow, no pain, no trials, no temptations, no things to go through with. If we can just live to the place that we can have eternal life. A lot of people talk to you sometimes, and they'll ask you if you have to handle a serpent to uh, go back with him when he comes. I tell them they have to take the word. The Bible says it's the believers, the sign to follow the believers. But it still tells you in another place, all on belief would have its part. So according to the word, you pretty much have to have to have it. I pick them like you and say, I've got to do it. I've got to. Because other people do it not except for them, but I've got to. I've done it too long and Maybe too many times you sit up and say, I quit. Oh, they be singing in that land, they be singing in that land. They be singing in that land where I'm at. They be singing in that land, they be singing in that land. They be singing in that land where I'm at. Oh, they be shouting in that land, they be shouting in that land. They be shouting. I'm going to praise God for, for victory that you got over that serpent line. Yeah. Yeah. People will talk around, they'll persecute you for getting bit. Honey, it's a suffering way. Yeah. And if one of us happens to go out like that, you talk about the persecution until you really get it. Well, like I tell them so often, I guess John the Baptist would like to have kept his hand, wouldn't he? Yes, he would, Stephen said, I guess they're like the hung on this little place they love God more. They sold him to death and him under the moon and the God of preaching again their sin. But they stoned him to death and I'll tell you what he done. He just sat down and went to sleep in Jesus. All right. In your name, Lord, in your name, Lord, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Jesus. Yeah. If you take that serpent and try to carry it the way you do it, yeah, a man and a woman's not a serpent, but these right here is a serpent. Yeah. God help me, Lord. God's people can have power if they want power. All right. And if they don't want power, they're not going to get no power or nothing from God. We either in this thing or either we are out. And when people say it, they believe this. And they are not got the signs of following them. Then the Bible says they are unbelievers. Exactly what it says. <laughs> said they shall pick up serpents. Some says if I accidentally pick one up, that's what it means. But God, that's not what the Bible said. It said they shall. 
which is a positive terms means that they will do it. Yeah. They don't say nothing about maybe. <laughs> These old hypocrites that changes the Bible around and says, uh, if I accidentally pick up one, uh, if it accidentally bites me, it won't hurt me. Uh, but God, the Bible did not say that. Uh, yeah. You've got to abide in the Word and let the Word abide in you. Then you can ask what you will and He'll do it for you. If you abide in the Word like you ought to, uh, then you can ask anything. I don't care what it is and God said He'd do it. God's word cannot fail.